um, uh, uh, this is uh, this is a phenomenal young man. In fact, not uh, not even a man. You know, a very young boy <laughs> who's actually authored a book. You know, seize your moment. A very young guy um, sees your moment. So he brought me, you know, um, a book in an envelope. And what he's saying is that he's also brought something for Vusi, uh, which I'll be giving uh, to him um, once he's in the country. But you see, I, I was so intrigued after having a conversation with him. Uh, Oswald, how are you? I'm fine. Great. How old are you? I'm 10 years old. 10 years old. Uh, grade what now? I'm in grade 5 at Wisdom Watch School. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. But, well, <clears throat> so, so, so tell me something. Why did you write a book and what made you think that you need to attend this conference? I mean, you're a boy, so only big people do this stuff, but why? Okay, so what made me to attend this conference is just the name itself. Africa must think because Africa isn't thinking, you just want to wait and say, or oh, the president is going to do this for everyone. Even myself, I've said to her, I cannot help everybody, but I want to teach young people that can also go and teach people from outside the country, different parts of the world. So meaning we must think as Africa, nobody is going to do everything from us for us. It's only one person. Mm -hmm. Well, this, this is interesting. But but you are young. Don't you, don't you think you are, you are young to do, you know, to begin thinking the way you are thinking? I'm not too young to do something. <laughs> if you read my chapter 9 or seize your moment, it says it's never too early to do something. The same as for us parents, the way you teach our children to learn business principles, the way we feed, the way you teach our children how to feed themselves, it's the same way you can teach them how to think. I have a younger sister who already knows how to how to cook. That's what she wants to be. She wants to become a chef, which she is already is. So you Africa must really think. And also, I'll, when I am also host one of my Africa must think, but that one will be specifically for the children. Also, adults can come, but the speakers there will be children. And uh, I have seen some great children like uh, Tamnia, who, who just plays chess, but he makes a lot of money out of it. They used to stay in Nigeria, and now they stay is, is it U.S.? Yes, U.S.A. There's also Ryan Hickman. What I love about Ryan Hickman is that he's a boy that picks up garbage. Mm -hmm. Of course, people are going to laugh at him, but he just has a courageous character to say, I you know I'm picking up garbage, but I don't care as long as I'm making money that can keep me. So as for him, he just goes to the beach, he picks up dirt, he recycles everything like that, and he's making money. And now nobody else is laughing at him. But what I'll just really like to say is that if you have a goal, just go for it. No matter what people would, would tell you to say, no, I cannot do it. Just go for it. Wow. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know if I need to say anything. Young man, you are a bomb, yo! What? I mean, at your age, what was I even doing? I, 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 don't, I don't think I was doing anything meaningful. I wish you well. I wish this young man well. And, and, and to you, the parents, you know, congratulations for the wonderful work that you've done. Uh, well, this is, this is exceptional. Uh, this is this is exceptional. You speak so well. Thank you. Yeah, you speak so well. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so moved, you know. I'm, I'm so moved. And Africa must think indeed. No, you've actually gotten it.